This morning in the Music Beat, new albums out this month, plus Trouble in Paradise for Ice T and Coco. Joining us this morning from Hot 106, Deanna Cruz. Hi, good morning. How, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all, you know, I'm good. I'm you good. good. It's December, not too crazy for albums, though. And you think it would be. Right, wouldn't you? Would, you? With, with Christmas here, you think, mm -hmm. hey, well, I'll buy somebody a new CD or something yeah, like that. Yeah, a lot of I think, came out more in November, because, you know, with the whole Thanksgiving, people will go Black Friday shopping, right. so a lot more albums came out in November. But this month, we had Wiz Khalifa released his album last week as long as well as Kesha we also today Bruno Mars I'm excited about that because the last two songs I heard I really really, oh, really it. I'm actually surprised even a know? lot of people who may not know Bruno Mars after mm -hmm. they hear him yeah he was on Saturday Night yeah, Live a couple yeah, of yeah. Of, people love this guy. Victoria's Secret model show yeah, yes, Hello, yes. fashion show yeah, they love so him. yeah uh, also the games coming out and TI and then on Christmas no good albums are really coming out on that day so uh, yeah and another guy who you mentioned Wiz Khalifa people Love him too. Yeah, yeah, they really do. I don't know if it's because of Amber Rose or what, but people are really liking uh, Wiz right now. Right, okay, good stuff. All right, uh, other rumors mm -hmm. swirling around. Rihanna got uh, Chris Brown's name tattooed on her. Okay, so oh, people wait, are wait, saying do that. They just don't learn. I, I don't know. I don't know if she really did or if it's just a rumor because she does have tattoos all over the place. She, right. she Instagrammed a photo of her with like a, a, like a necklace, kind of like a choker, mm -hmm. and they're saying, oh, maybe she tattooed her name Breezy, his name Breezy on her. She's been going really wild on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen some of her photos, but I feel like she's subliminally, subliminally tweeting at um, Karuchi, Chris Brown's ex-girlfriend, because she's now in Paris hanging out with Chris and Rihanna's not liking it. So honestly, this is like a whole, too much drama yeah, for me. Can we just get over the whole thing and just say, yes, I'm, I'm back with the guy yeah, and, just yeah, yeah. Let it, and just let it Maybe be. she's waiting for the Grammys in February, you know, where it ended is where they're going to start off again. At, who knows? Who knows? I'm just putting it out there. I think Deanna's producing the Grammys. <laughs> All right. Um, another story a lot of people got to see this week. Yeah. Some, some disturbing things. The LAPD recently released pretty graphic autopsy of uh, pictures from the Notorious B.I.G. and now they're apologizing. And yeah. it wasn't actual pictures, it was more right. of the, the drawings Right. From the from the autopsy. Right. I guess um, I don't know. I've never done an autopsy, but um, <laughs> you know, on, it's just like, time. <laughs> it's a stick figure, <laughs> and the bullet went in through here. But basically, it described he was uh, shot four times. There was uh, one that was actually fatal, and they released the photos before actually contacting um, Christopher Wallace, his real name, his family, and if you know his mom, his mom gets really upset about those things. Right. So they are now apologizing, say sorry. You know, it was a glitch in our system. Um, I'm not sure if I believe that. Kind I think if someone yeah. gets fired anytime soon from the LAPD, we know who it was, right. or maybe they sold those photos. But um, yeah, you can. I mean, it has all the description on there and where the bullet went through and what it hit and what organ, you know. Right. So for anybody who doesn't know, it wasn't graphic pictures. It was no, more it of a wasn't detail. like actual body right. pictures. It right. was like a drawing. Drawings. Yes. Up. Okay. Uh, lastly. We, we see these two on TV all the time. Yeah, Ice Loves Coco. Ice Loves Coco. We know she, they're both wild. I don't yeah. know how they're together. Yeah. I, I can't believe this is even sho shocking right, to right. him. She Twitters crazy pictures all right. the time. But this time, it may have pushed him over the edge. They seem so in love. But here's the thing about Coco. She'll tweet pictures, and she has her, home, her own blog of pictures of herself. Like, mm -hmm. you know. But this picture was of a guy kissing on her cheek, and yeah. apparently he's a rapper, and she was out in Vegas having some fun, and they were recording for their show, you know, Ice is at home, and um, there's this rapper, AP.9, who's giving her a kiss on the cheek, and they're dancing together, and they tweet these photos out, and Ice sees it and goes on Twitter and goes on a whole rant, like, right. you're my wife, you shouldn't be taking these type of photos. And at first, Coco didn't get it, but then she, you know, tweeted out to an apology, and like, you know, that wasn't really nice, I shouldn't okay. have done it. We will see what happens yeah, on Ice Loves right? Coco. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Anytime. And for more information on all of these topics, you can head to WPRI.com.